I started, well, I started on the 10th of December 2001. It's etched in my brain. My goodness, I started in, it must have been November, the year after, 2002. in 2002. And as an organisation, I suppose it was a really good organisation built on community development principles and foundations. And mm. I think certainly for me and where I was at that point in my career, coming from working from a small community organisation, joining what was NITAP at that mm -hmm. stage, it definitely developed my skills, Absolutely. my understanding, uh, my ability to be able to, I suppose, get to understand the problems, the challenges facing communities. Mm -hmm and look at how we can work better with public sectors, with the housing executive, mm -hmm. in terms of overcoming mm -hmm. some of those, mm -hmm. and also the roles of like the housing community network and the role that we played as an organization in terms of the development from what was the former consumer councils into the housing community networks and really harnessing that engagement with communities mm -hmm. and supporting communities and the housing executive to, I suppose, engage better, work communicate better, better yeah. And, you know, being able to act as that conduit as well, you know, is quite unique. Yeah. Dramelan, in terms of the group, was pro would probably be the key, really fond, you know, because not only were we working and supporting the group there, and particularly, you know, Bernie as, the, as, as the, the officer there at the time, we also were there. As an, you know, that's just where our office was for yeah. a long, long time, and that relationship because you get to see the nuts and bolts as well. And I suppose it's, you've de you not only developed that kind of working relationship with the group, you developed that kind of close relationship as well. And you've seen the positives and the negatives, mm -hmm. you know, because again, sometimes you're gonna, and, and if you're gonna do work with the group, you're maybe only seeing parts of it, you know, with the, the good stuff. We're sitting there, you're able, you're able yeah. to see, and we. Should, we did, there was just a lot of laughter, sometimes a lot of tears, a lot of tantrums at times as well, you know, but um, I think that's, you know, part of the, the good memories Absolutely. about it all, isn't it? I, I definitely have fond memories of the organisation and would definitely credit the organisation yeah. uh, in terms of its contribution that it had with me mm -hmm. around developing my career yeah. and some of the skills Absolutely. that I took away from the organisation mm -hmm. and continue to use yeah. right up until today mm -hmm. but also I think it was uh, at the time attributed to there was a really good staff team yes uh, and we we had our monthly staff mm -hmm. meetings in Ballymena and we all had our monthly day out to Ballymena uh, we had our annual staff residentials when we had our annual trip to very strange and unknown places on some occasions to Northern Ireland in Northern Ireland <laughs> Uh, and but the staff team were very very supportive Absolutely. and I think that's something that certainly from my perspective on the outside looking in now seems to have continued on yeah. where there is that good working together mm -hmm. team environment yeah. uh, and that then very much is shown in how the organization communicates mm -hmm. how the organization deals with communities mm -hmm. and I think that's one of the really strong points about the organization yeah, absolutely okay. oh, significantly changed um, I mean, even whenever we started, I mean, really, mainly it was the housing executive mm -hmm. who um, seen the, the, the key value of it. There was a number of housing associations from a tenant participation perspective who also don't say that, but there was really no real requirement, you know, for organisations to be um, developing communities yeah. or, you know, involving their tenants. Um, certainly one of the key things for me, you know, whenever I was at Supporting Communities was the fact that Supporting Communities became the independent tenant organisation and I think that in itself really lifted the organisation in terms of its status and its recognition as an independent organisation. So it has definitely evolved yeah really really positively <clears throat> over the years and I think it goes beyond even that tenant participation I yeah. think organizations like supporting communities like tap uh, or whatever other uh, guys that it came mm -hmm. under has definitely helped uh, mobilize communities mm -hmm. so that communities are aware of the fact that they do have a voice yes. and they do have a, a role to play in terms mm -hmm. of holding organizations that are delivering them services whether that be within the housing sector or the public sector yeah. to account mm -hmm. and I think that foundation has been really strongly built 
Uh, and we're, we're still seeing the benefits of that in terms mm-hmm. of some of the work that is happening today. Yeah. And I think supporting communities had a, had a oh, big a role to part. play in that. Mm-hmm. I, th- I, th- I think it says a lot for an organisation that's now in its 40th year and still growing, still, you know, being able to, um, you know, inform, kind of empower, encourage people, not just tenants and residents and communities, but also public bodies and other agencies know that I think it says something about an organisation that's able to do that. And as you're right in saying, you know, a lot of it's down to these people. I remember when I worked there, you know, I would always have joked to say that it's really not a job, it's a vocation. And you need to be a certain type of person to be able to do the, the job that the staff and supporting communities do. The, only thing, the other thing that I would say is, I think where the longevity of the organisation mm-hmm. has come from is the fact that the services that are providing are making a difference yeah. and they're making a difference to those individuals who are part of the many, many community mm-hmm. voluntary organisations across Northern Ireland. And it's it's a difficult role, as Laura said, yeah. it is a vocation, mm-hmm. but there's a huge sense of achievement Absolutely. whenever you know that you're making a difference mm-hmm. and you're helping people to improve the quality of life of people that live within communities. Yeah. The great thing about supporting communities, yes, we talk about community development, we're talking about tenant participation, but what you mentioned, Ryan, was about the, have, making sure that people have the, are empowered, have, you know, are, are enabled to basically have a voice in terms of a, of a service that's being provided. And I think being able to do that and the foundations that have been created for them, supporting communities, will allow you to branch out into a number of other yeah. key areas as well. And also we are in a, a different context now in, in Northern Ireland, but we're also in a different context in terms of the availability of resources. Okay. So I think as the organisation and organisations similar to supporting communities continue to develop, we need to look at how we can strengthen the collaborative opportunities yeah of working together Mm -hmm. because the needs are ever increasing within communities. Mm -hmm. The ability for public sector organisations and community voluntary sector organisations to support and respond to that is still a huge requirement, Mm -hmm. but the amount of resources to do it is ever decreasing. So it's about looking at strengthening those collaborative Mm -hmm. opportunities in terms of ensuring that we're still delivering quality outcomes on a partnership basis. You're not doing what you continually do and always do because it's easy to do. You know, it's about creating those challenges and you know, and I think again a talk you mentioned about the longevity, it's by doing things like that, ticking leaps of faith, you know, challenging not only staff but also challenging board to kinda to create have those leaps of faith but then obviously help you to grow and and develop more.